Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss one more table manipulation function in Power BI called as intersect. First, let's review the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. So we have the definition and the syntax here. Returns the row intersection of two tables retaining duplicates. And the syntax here, it takes two parameter table expression one or table or expression two. Return value, a table that contains all the rows in table expression one that, all, that are also in the table expression two. And we have some remarks here. Intersect is not committed to. In general, intersect T1, T2 will have a different result set than intersect T2, T1. This is very important. And also duplicate rows are retained and the column names will match the column names in the table expression. So we have few remarks as well, but let's try to do it in PBI with the help of an example. I have created these two tables in PBI. So as you can see, I have part one and part two. In the table part one, we have the scores of the students of a competitive exams. And if the student has to get through a board or a institution they have to clear the exams they have to take participation in both the exams that is part one exam and part two let's say if a student writes exam part one but he doesn't write part two he's disqualified similarly if a student doesn't take part one but he takes part two even that's disqualified so basically what we are trying to do here is like the student who has written part one should write part two and if he passes both the exams only then he'll be qualified for the uh, admission for the institution so now let's go to as you can see here there is no relationship between these two tables so part one and part two and let's look at the raw data here so this is the part one as you can see i have the year or month of examination and students we have around 10 students here and also the score okay and if I go to the part two here, even I have the year, the month is different, July and student and the score. And if you notice here, uh, the, the students are not exactly the same. If you look here, uh, we have Alex, Carl, Diana. And if I go to the part two table here, it starts with Ajay. And so some students have written part one and they did not attend the part two. Similarly, some student did not attend part one and they attended part two. So first step is to identify the student who have taken both the exams, right? So let's try to do this with the help of intersect function. So we know that it results into a table. So I'm gonna create a new table and call this as intersect example. So now, if I use intersect, let's say uh, as it is, look, your left table is part one, and the right table is part two. Let's see what we get. We are getting zero records, right? I, I know why it is, because what intersect does, it compares all the columns, right? It, it, this particular table, part two, it has month, student, year, and also the score. If I use the entire table, right, uh, part one and part two, we may not have the uh, matching records because if you look the part two here, the month is ex entirely different. We have July and it's nowhere matching with the uh, uh, column in um, uh, part one, April, right? So that, and that's the reason uh, we are getting zero records. But this is not what we want. We want only the students part, right? We don't we don't care uh, the month here or the score at the first part. So what we are gonna do, we are gonna take only the column student. So how do I do that? I'll use a summarize here and table. I will summarize part one and I will summarize it by student, okay? So that I get the unique records. And similarly, for the right table, I'll use summarize part two and then I'll group this even by student. So now I should be getting the 
unique students uh, which are in table one, that is part one table and part two table. Hit enter. So by using intersect, I was able to get the list of students who took part in both the exams, that is part one and part two. If you want to check, let's look at Carl. Click on part one. See, Carl is in part one table. And similarly, Carl is also present in part two table, right? So now we know how the intersect function works. Now let's try to use this intersection in a measure in the report and then try to get the scores, the scores for Carl, Diana, and Matthew and other students respectively from part one table and also from part two table. One important thing is we don't have any join or relationship between part one and part two, but still we are going to do this using an intersect function, right? So I have created a simple table here, as you can see, it's a table. And then I have inserted a student column from part one table here. So now I want to get the scores, right? Uh, uh, scores of the people who took part in part one exam and part two, right? Now what you see, you have all the students uh, from part one, but this is not what I want. So now let me create a new measure here. And then I'll call this as a part one score, okay? So now I will use a calculate function. I'm gonna use calculate. I'm gonna calculate the sum of scores from part one first, okay? And now the filter. So in the filter part, I will use the intersect function, intersect exactly the same function which I discussed a few minutes back. Left table. So I know we have so many columns, so I cannot use all the columns as it is. So I'm gonna summarize again the table part one. And then I'll do a group by student. Okay. So this is my left table. I'll do the same thing for my right table. Summarize. Table is part two group by, again, I'm going to group by student because that's that's how I'm going to look into the data by comparing the students that took part in both the exams. And then hit enter. So now I should be getting the results of the students who took in the part one exam. Okay, hit enter. I'll bring this here. As you can see here, I'm getting the results or the score of the students who participated in part one exam. Let's look at the call 85. If I go back to my data here, part one, call 85, right? It's matching. Diana 65. What I have for Diana here, 65. I'm getting the right numbers. So now I want to do the same thing from part two table, I got the results for part one, right? Part one, the students who took part in both the exams and the score. But I also want to see the results on the scores of the part two participants. So now if I directly use this score, I, I may not get the right numbers. Let's try. You see, I'm getting the wrong results. So this doesn't work this way because there is a, a, no relationship between these two tables. So now I'm going to create a new measure here. And call this as part two score. I'm going to use the same measure, same function, calculate. Expression is sum of score, but this time from part two table. And then filter, I'm going to use intersect here intersect left table in the last measure i used the part one as my left table but now i'll do the other way so i'm going to use part two here and my right table is part one okay but a catch here again i don't want all the 
columns here, right? I want to look against student only. So I'm going to use summarize part to table group by part to student. Same thing here for the part one. I'm going to summarize this part one table and then group by student, right? And then close the parenthesis. Okay, now hit enter. Now I should be getting the part to score from this table. So now let me bring this here. As you can see, I'm getting the right numbers. So if we want to cross check, let's go to the table here. So Carl 50 and Diana 75. Let's look at here. Here, part two table, how much we have for Carl 50, Diana 75. It's perfectly matching, right? 50 and 75. So this is how we can use intersect function in PBA. This is very useful and uh, it's very helpful when we don't want to create a relationship between two tables due to some uh, reasons. And this is where you can use the intersect function. Okay. Hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please uh, drop a note in the comment section. I'll revert back to you. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.